What is going on, No Horsing Around family? Zach Boyd, back at it again. Uh, fresh off a of vacation from Hawaii, guys. Uh, you hadn't seen me on here for a few days, and I spent a week with my wife. Um, it was an amazing trip, and I'm, I'm glad I was able to do that and kind of step away from football. Um, but as my name tells you in Twitter, Colts Nation 365, I never get fully away from it. Thought it'd be cool to get in here and talk about top five wide receiver prospects. Uh, I'm gonna pro gonna preface this with saying five guys that I think that are possible players that we can select. So you'll notice I won't say Drake, London, Garrett Wilson. You know, you know players like that, uh, Jameson Williams. Um, don't think that those guys are gonna be there. Um, it. To be honest with you, a few guys on this list might not be there as well. Um, but these are five guys that could be um, on the list, and we'll just talk through them. Um, guys I really, really like. Some guys I don't know that Chris Ballard will really, really like. Um, but we'll just go down the list. No particular order. Um, and we'll start with one of the fan favorites, you know, Christian Watson. Um, we all know his size, his speed, his rawness, his ability. Um Man, I mean, there's a lot to like. And we all know when we look at, you know, Chris Ballard's track record, he love, love, loves, he loves the senior bowl. Like, he likes players that stand out. I think sometimes he puts more into the senior bowl than he does the actual combine and pro days. Um, he's not been scared to go after guys that played at a little bit smaller schools. Um, he typically likes guys who have rare, uh, rare traits. He likes big physical receivers. He's never really taken a small receiver. Um, he doesn't draft a whole lot. He doesn't do a whole lot of wide receiver in general, <laughs> that being said. But, but I mean, he, you know, when he does go out there, you know, a la, you know, Michael Pittman Jr., uh, bigger physical receivers um, are something that, you know, he, he covets. What's not to like about him? Well, the one thing I would say that he has a little bit of a blemish, um, he's dropped a few passes. Um, other than that, it's all there. I mean, the speed, uh, he's got the catch radius. Um, obviously, he's six foot five. He could dominate. Um, a lot of people compare him um, a little bit to compare him to Mike Evans. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, this guy could be special. He's a guy who actually, I think, has a real shot at being there. There's going to be a huge run. I feel like at the beginning of that second round, there's going to be a huge run on wide receivers. I don't know who all will be left when it's all said and done and where they're picking, I believe, at 42. But he's the one that I would keep an eye on. I mean, he's one that, that everybody I've been watching in the Colts community, they love him. They, they have mocked him there. We'll be doing our mock later on, um, probably the end of this weekend, first of next week. I don't know. We're going to get something together for that. Um, I need a deep a little bit deeper dive when it comes to that. Um, moving on down the list, um, number two, Chris Olave. Um, here's a guy who probably won't be there, uh, but thought it would be worth mentioning. Um, sometimes guys like Chris Olave um, slide a little bit, you know, day of the draft, because there's always, you know, movers and, and guys who slide down. I thought there's a potential. This is, a, this is my dream scenario. Like, if, if he were there, I, I think that would be huge. Uh, he checks all the boxes. He's from the Big Ten. Um, Chris Ballard loves Big Ten football players. Um, he's not been scared to go after players who play for Ohio State as well. Um, and he's a polished, polished route runner. In and out of his breaks, he's a, he's a true deep threat. Um, Chris Ballard mentioned in his press conference he wants to challenge the middle of that field. Um, Chris Olave does all of that. 13 of his 65 catches last year uh, resulted in a touchdown. That's pretty damn good, man. <laughs> you know, I mean, that is pretty damn good when you're when you're talking about playing in a high potent offense. And he's just, I mean, he's doing what he does. I, I actually like guys like Alave for a long term career better than some of the other guys, just because. What are you going to do when that speed wears off? Well, Alave's going to have his. He's going to he's going to stick to his polish route running. He's a technician. Um, I think he could be a pretty good guy. He's a little bit slight. He can get stronger. Um, and I think the sky's the limit for him. I think he's going to have a really, really good NFL career. Um, we will see. I think he would also be a guy that Chris Ballard would be very, very intrigued in taking. Um, next on the list is Sky Moore. Um, I love me some Sky Moore, man. I mean, he just reminds me so much in the NFL now. Everybody wants to who's, – who's going to be the next, you know – Debo Samuel, who's going to be the next, you know, he's kind of that rare hybrid blend. 
Um, he led, I believe he led college football last year in, in, in broken tackles as a wide receiver. So he's kind of that mold. He's 5'10", but he's sturdy. He's not like a 5'10", slight featured guy. He has a very, very strong foundation to him. Um, he catches just about everything. There's not a whole lot to not like. Uh, every year you have a guy who just skyrockets that last week in the draft. Um, I think this is this guy or Christian and Watson, honestly, will be one of those two guys to skyrocket. Um, probably ends up going um, somewhere in the 20s, um, early 30s. But if he's there at 42, got to get him, man. I mean, he, he can change, you know, the complexity of your football team. Chris Ballard generally doesn't go for receivers smaller than six foot. Um, he likes the bigger, more physical receivers. Um, but this guy here would be very, very, very good for the football team. Um, next on the list would be, you know, Traylon Burke kind of, Traylon Burks kind of fits the mode of a, of a Chris Ballard as well. Physical freak, um, did not have a good combine. Probably has slid down more than anybody. And we talk about all these guys, these guys are rising. You know, Daniel Jeremiah, a guy who I really like his scouting uh, process, you know, Christian Watson just became this week, if you if you want to go check it out, he's in his top 50 for the first time. He's not been in his top 50. He's been on our radar, you know, as Colts fans, um, but he is he is nationally getting some pub. Well, Traylon Burks is going the other way. Um, he's still in his top 50, there's no doubt. Um, he has some rare uh, ability. He's a big guy. I mean, 6'2", 225, uh, can break tackles. Didn't do a lot of pro stuff there in Arkansas, though. Um, that's a little worrisome and didn't have a good combine, like, at all. I mean, everybody thought he was going to go there and just be the guy who just blew it up and just shot up. You know, everybody thought he was going to be in that consideration with, with Drake London, you know, Garrett Wilson, you know, all of those guys, and he hasn't done that. He's done the opposite. He's went the other way around. But I think when it all settles, um, I think he goes somewhere in the second round, and I think he goes to a good football team, and I think he can help. Um, so that would be a guy that I would look look at as well. Final guy on this list is Jahan Dotson. Um, he is like the hardest guy to evaluate and translate. Um, you know, when we talk about fits, when we look for in scouting, we look for fits. What does he fit in? What type of offense does he fit in? Well, the truth is he probably fits in just about any offense. Um, catches everything. I mean, he just doesn't drop the football. He's a, he's a sneaky, good athletic receiver, not particularly tall, um, not particularly freakish at anything. He's just a solid, solid wide receiver. He's going to help a football team win football games. I don't know where he goes. I actually think he also has a chance to be there at 42. Um, I don't know. He doesn't. It doesn't feel very Chris Ballard-ish, if I'm being honest, but I wanted to put together five people uh, just so we can just start talking and have a great conversation. You guys do such a good job. Light us up in the comments. Tell me who you want. Tell me if there's somebody on the list. Tell me if there's somebody not on this list. Let's scout them. Let's talk about them. Let's join. Let's get this Colts community going, and let's get excited about this draft, this wide receiver position. Um, and until next time, guys, I love you. Steven loves you, and we are out.